are off to ballet. Uh, a little late. I'm going nice and slowly because my ankle is still not 100%. But good enough to go to ballet slowly and at least do something. So we shall see. It actually feels so much better. It's amazing. I can like feel it healing. So I'd be careful because the ground looks like this. It's a little slippery. We had more dustings of snow last night. So, how are you doing? Let me know in the comments what's going on with you today. And I will talk to you in a bit. Let's go, got in. No, I know, which is crazy. It's crazy. So, how was ballet for you? Yeah. Quite. Well, I was very, very. When I first went in, I could barely play, and I could barely go up and to relevé. By the end of it, I could. It's good. It is good. Yeah. Okay. Have <laughs> fun. Robin's coming. Did you? Have I locked you in yet? No. Robin's here. What up? We're back from Sundance Film Festival. Looking it's way been. cool. As always, and of course, I miss you guys because this time I felt like I was really gone. Being really cute. Go on, do it again. <laughs> Isn't this really cute? Mm, I know. Natalie's feeling pre awkward retreat. She described it as not normal. I'm like, you're never gonna be normal. <laughs> It's all just part of the ever shifting shift. And it's funny because I think he said the thing is like living from the heart is one of his like the theme. Yeah. And my heart feels extra like. Well, and Eric's work with the heart. Yeah, my heart is feeling extra kind of like quiver, like yeah. It feels like quivery and like I just wants to like hide. I understand. Yeah. Although this morning I did have a little download where I was like putting on my jacket and I'll. I actually Instagrammed like a little thing that came through me because it was like putting on my jacket and I was like, oh, I love this moment. Aww. It's like so nice to enjoy the moment of doing something so, so, not you know, like not exciting, but feel so like happy to just to be doing that, you know? Yeah. And it was like, really nice. So that's it. Mm -hmm. It's the favorite shot ever. Ready to three. <laughs> Thank you, Sia. Logged in. Everyone's very quiet today. Making up for that 45 minute vlog where everyone had so much to say. Yeah, some burger, some burger. Oh, yep, just adding a little cute. Thanks, some burger, some burger. So, that's a ragu. No. Are you bored of seeing the same thing as food over and over? Log out. Log out. Bye, guys. What are you impersonating to it again? Wilderbeast. That's what I remember from Africa. Oh. We did this the other day. Well, I did it better the other day. Yes, you, uh, you know the, the uh, backpack is making it difficult no, you can't to do it, no. impersonate the wilderness. The backpack is hurting. Yeah. Okay, uh, let's go. Bye. It's Bye. Stupid, See you please. tomorrow. <laughs> oh. That was a wonderful lunch. Yeah. So we are home a little while ago now. He's just been shopping and Kelsey is here. Yay! And we're just talking about food being alive because, um, as Natalie was just in the co op, and a lot of the things I used to explain to her, and she was like, What are you talking about now? She's like, I get it. I was thinking that too. I was like, There are so many things that you used to say to me when we were at the co op, or like when you were standing there, I was like, no idea what you're talking about. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah. <laughs> I'll just go with that. But like I was thinking that today when because the water was like shh, with the water at the co-op they have little like water shots, you know, going out on the you know, it's Spritzers. like water spritzers yeah. like water the plants. 
and I was just like, they're so like the vegetables are so alive, and they're like so the alive. sweet potato is like this, like come this one, this right? One. And it's like, oh yeah, that one, and I was like, they're alive, right? Love it. And then I was like, oh, they're watering the plants, duh, like you water plants that are living, and I was like, how did I not be like realize? How did that not click in my mind before? It's funny. And then also the other day I went to Whole Foods to get a little like tidbits on my way home and I walked past the salad bar and it was just like crazy because I don't know, just see like the lack, the difference. Yeah. I talk a lot when I was doing it. Nice but, like the good. difference in vibrance, like, like it was like the onions were like, and like totally. the peas are like, they're not like shooting out. I know. They're like. I know. They're, half, they're barely alive. I know. At all. I know. And you can like see it in the color and the yeah. vibrance and like the sh yeah, totally. So, and like, amazing. It's amazing. And it's amazing to hear Natalie say this back to me. Because I remember when I was like, Natalie, when you go to the top, you have to listen to the vegetables. They will talk to you and tell you what to get. Listen to them. And she was like, um, okay, um, okay, but just give me the list. And I'm like, no, no, no listen to the vegetables. <laughs> and now, like, get it. Totally. Yeah. yeah, and also yeah. you were saying like vegetables are alive, and you were saying that like the when I worked, I volunteered at this at a farm in Austin. Um, the one of the farmers, Joe, was explaining that um, when lettuce, we were in the greenhouse, and he was explaining that when this lettuce gets stressed, yeah, it shoots up a stalk, and I was like the only one who was like, I'm sorry, what? And I was like, wait a second, how does lettuce get stressed? And he yeah. was like, well, it, um, you know, like if, if there's too much heat, if the, you know, if the temperature's not good, if, you know, the, just the conditions for it growing are not good, then it, you know, it gets stressed, it shoots up this stalk and the whole thing becomes bitter. Right. Uh, and I had this like complete realization like you did. I was just thinking, oh my gosh, this salad that I'm going to eat is of completely alive yeah you know and it and these farmers are so great because they you know really like send out love to their totally. plants you, and have their, to. you have to so that's always also interesting when people talk about animal rights and which I, I totally agree with but it's like yeah but plants have feelings too you know it's mm. like if you're gonna be if the reason for like not eating meat is because of the like stress of the animal, it's like well, there's also a recognition of a, like the kind of stress of the plant, and mm -hmm. you know it's like if you can eat those with care and love, then you can like bring animals into the same. But it's tricky to find the like currently really good high quality from good farmers. I guess the food crop, yeah, and like once you start just eating more with more awareness and being able to feel it. It's, yeah, it's like what's happened to Nelly. It's like you just you just can't go back. I don't even want to go. Like I, I just know. love going out to dinner. Right. I don't want to go out to dinner. I know. Sorry about that. <laughs> <laughs> I know. It's like feels I know. It's like immediate when you're used to feeling good yeah. and you have that discernment, it's like you just can't put it in your body anymore. Yeah. It's crazy. So yeah. That's the convo that's going on now. Bring out Natalie, Kelsey is now doing some dishes. Oh, and the phone is ringing, and I'm baking cookies. All right, Mwah. Love you. see you tomorrow. She's off home. Yay! He's here, and Emily's leaving. <laughs> She's brought back this little guy, so we can pack him for tomorrow. Yep. <laughs> and it's your fault, then. Do 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 do. Oh no, it's the totally mixed up of the song. Oh. It's Emily's fault that I'm making cookies again. What? No, it's not really. It's kind of <laughs> slightly. Making them when I was on the phone with you. No, because I was watching you in the vlog. What? You and me making cookies in the vlog. Here's oh. the thing. I watched myself making cookies in the vlog. With you. Yeah. I wish I could not blame Emily at all. But <laughs> <laughs> she gets dragged into it. Um, okay. I watch myself making cookies. I'm like, oh my gosh, the cookies look so good. Then let me do it more, and then I vlog it, and then I watch it again. It's like this ongoing. Cookie obsession. Cookie by a vlog obsession, but they're so good. They're so good. And they're like the perfect thing to have. They are. And they're good for you. They really are good for you. Yeah. And they, I have cut down on like needing other, like craving other things just from having them. So. So. 
the, the video I'm editing currently is the one where I attempted to make all the ingredients that I'm gonna make into a something that you can actually get the recipe and make it. That's what I've been replaying in my head every time. I'm like, I'm imagining your hand holding the glass oh. and I'm like, okay, there is that. <laughs> <laughs> it's coming, I promise. Let's see tomorrow. So tomorrow. we've got to leave at Emily and Bennett come over at 7.15 a.m. Ah. And I go get up and make breakfast and eat breakfast and make lunch and everything before that. Yep. Okay. It's going to be a big party tomorrow. Mm -hmm. See you tomorrow. Ah, oh, so it is 11 o'clock and it is bedtime for me. I finally got a vlog uploading and made about 50 million cookies, I get you not, and it took forever. <laughs> Halfway through I was like, what am I doing? Um, but anyway, had to keep going till I finished it all up. So we have lots of cookies, they will probably last about one day, knowing me and the rest of the crew, because I'm going to take a bunch of them tomorrow for the Orchid Retreat. Um, just reading some of your comments and, oh, I just love you guys, it's so amazing to live this and project through to you and hear your comments and welcome those of you who are new because there's been a whole bunch of new subscribers coming on recently which is super exciting so thank you and welcome to the family if you're kind of new here um hi to arena special superhuman hug to you and jocelyn and ibug of course um your comments are so awesome Oh, just yay, Erica and Fiona, and just yay, just thank you for being here. <sighs> so, oh, I want to show you quickly what I've prepared for tomorrow. So I've already chopped some sweet potato roll ready for breakfast, which I don't normally prefer to do because it goes a bit dry, but I have to get up at six. So that's what I did. Eric, why do you leave toast in the toaster? Does your husband do this? This has been in the toaster for like three days and then finally I'm like, I think I should just take it out. Eric! This toast that's in the toaster, do you want it? Or do you want me to leave no. do you want me to leave this toast in the toaster till it goes mouldy? I know, I forgot about it. Shall I put it in the bin? That's brilliant, sorry about it. That's so cute. And, alright, so there we go. Um, parsnips I roasted. More cookies, last few. So we've got cookies here, cookies in here. And here I made salad. And then I've prepared salmon and mushrooms and tomatoes and stuff ready to plop in the pan tomorrow and in here I've already chopped up some mushrooms so I just need to do eggs and greens and all of it oh, so I haven't really finished packing but I think I'm just going to go to bed so I'll see you very early in the morning probably like this oh, oh. like my morning voice and Right now I'm going to stop talking. So, what happened today? I went to ballet and my ankle is definitely improving all the time. Yeah, it still feels, you know, like it's healing, but it's getting better. Oh, what else? I went to Suggies. It was a nice day. Nice Friday. So anyway, mwah. Thank you for being here, thanks for watching. If you're not subscribed, make sure you click the subscribe, the red subscribe button. And if you are watching this not on YouTube, click the video, the little YouTube thingy down there. Go to YouTube and then click subscribe because that makes me really happy. Plus we are nearly at 4,500 subscribers and hopefully by the time you watch this, we'll be at 5,000, which is really exciting. And if you do have some friends who want to come hang out with us, 
get them to subscribe too. And I'll see you tomorrow. We've got a full day of light and love and orkiness. So I'll be sending you lots of peace through. Alright, night night. Sleep well if you're off to bed and have a great day if you are beginning your day. Bye.